Willkommen zurück zu einer neuen Folge von Eleanor. So, dann jetzt mal erst zum Revier, bitte. Carruthers sagte, dass sie eine echte Pounding nahm. Vielleicht wenn er ein bisschen firmer in der Beginn gewesen wäre, wäre er in dieser Situation jetzt. Ich imagine, dass die Neanderthal-Routine ein großer Hit mit den Ladies, Galloway. Die Frauen lieben mich, Phelps. I have no complexity. They know exactly what they're going to get. Das kann ich mir vorstellen. We have a firm lead, Captain. Are you questioning my judgment, Cole Phillips? No, sir. Good. I thought not. Jacob Henry is a subsystem pushed around by his wife. I think with the right kind of persuasion, he might be prepared to seek absolution. Are you prepared to show him the error of his ways, young Phelps? I don't think he's our man. Galloway agrees with me. Don't drag me into this. Rusty is a practical policeman. A bird in hand has always worked too in the bush. Let's liberate a confession from poor Jake and the public will sleep easy today. Run along now, folks. I've warmed them up nicely for you. Tja, dann schauen wir, was wir da rauskriegen. Macht mal Platz hier, Kinas. Doesn't look good, Jacob. You're in a big jam here. You lie to me and I can't help you out. Do you understand me? Yes. Na dann fangen wir mal an. What do you do for work, Jacob? I'm a mechanic. Engines, differentials, transmissions, that kind of stuff. So you have access to tools? Yes, I do. Your wife was brutally beaten with a socket wrench handle, then stomped to death. How do you think that looks, Jacob? I, I was home in bed. Na, glaube ich ja nicht. You're full of shit, Jacob. The truth is you hated that bitch. You followed her and dragged her into the car and then took her out to the moors. She woke up and you smashed her face in with a socket. No. Touch. No, 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 no. And then you stomped no. her. No. You stomped her because she's a drunken whore and she treated you like shit. You stomped her for all the years you had to take it. You stomped her because you are such a weak fucking sister, Jacob, and you wanted to erase all memory of it. Go on. Try to deny it. I was at home. I should have gone to her at the bar, but I didn't. You can't prove I wasn't home. Naja, er hat ja... Moment, der andere hat auch gesagt, er hat halt versucht... Das müsste genau, dass er anrufen hat. I can. The bar owner, McCall, gave you up. He called your house right at the time that someone was smashing Celine's skull in and got no answer. If we find that socket wrench, you're gonna fry. Get it off your chest. Tell me you killed her. I killed her, all right. I killed her dreams. She was an aviator. Famous in her day, flying around up there like a bird. But she never wanted to come back down. You know, my pop was a sod farmer, dirt poor. I joined the Corps, trained to be a mechanic. I did better than my father did. I worked hard for it. That's all you can ask of a man. But Celine. She never wanted to come down from the clouds. She wanted everything I couldn't give her. All I had was security. That was never going to be enough. You did it. Everything points to you. What does text mean, Jacob? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm, da scheint es tatsächlich ein bisschen sicherer zu sein. I need a reason to believe you, Jacob. You want a confession? That's what you want? That's exactly what we want. Seems to me there are two types of marriages. First, where the couple love each other equally and everything's roses. And then there's the other, 
or one person loves the other more than life itself and always puts them first. Chumps like me. Who love them no matter what, no matter how badly they behave. That's it. That's my confession. I love my wife. And I'll take any test you got to prove it. Hmm. Your marriage was over. You took her in and she threw it back in your face. You didn't go over there to hurt her. It just got out of hand. It's not how it was. Ja, eigentlich gab's ja schon Stress. You're lying, Jacob. It was falling apart and things got violent. I'm not lying. I'm telling you how it was. So, haben wir da die Eheprobleme, genau. Jenny Horgan says you blackened her eye. It's all right, Jacob. The DA will understand. In your shoes, I would have done exactly the same thing. I hit her. All right? I'm not proud of it, but she was coming at me with a frying pan. What would you do? I took it for years, but sometimes a man can only take so much. Hmm. Why did you break into your wife's house, Jacob? Why steal the ring? What? What are you talking about? I've got a key. Why would I need to break in? Das stimmt allerdings. You took the ring because you found out who gave it to her. What are you talking about? Her prized garnet ring, given to her by her old boyfriend, Dick McCall. I never knew that. I lived with that woman for three years and... I never knew that. In that case, I think you should be talking to Dick McCall. We'll do the detective work, Lunkhead. Just answer the questions. I'll see what I can do for you, Jacob. But I'm not promising. It still looks bad for you. Phelps. You failed me, son. We have another lead, Captain. This guy Mendez could be our man. I hope so, Phelps. I really hope so. I'm deeply disturbed by your style of police work. Ah, dieser alte Motzkoffer. We can still pull down a conviction for the skipper if we chase down this Mendez guy. Ja, kriegen wir hin. Dann mal schnell zu Mendez. Can you drive to this one? Fine. Where are we headed? Gucken, was wir da finden. Alonso Mendez. Sound like a man who moonlights as the werewolf? Don't sound like a man I'd let my daughter anywhere near. You've got a daughter. Spend enough time drinking, Cole, you'll find yourself with any number of things you don't want when you're sober. So that's why you never sober up. Exactly. Scheint schon ein bisschen luxuriöser zu wohnen. Was haben wir denn hier? Okay. Mendez, Apartment 16. Was haben wir da noch? Kein Mendez. Ah, Dawson. <lacht> Hubi McGuire vielleicht. Ja, ich denke, da haben sie auch wieder ein paar Entwickler dann verewigt. Das ist ja eigentlich immer eine sehr beliebte Stelle. Na dann, 16 ist ganz oben. Ja, ich gucke nochmal drauf, ist in Ordnung. Hier, die Apartments sind auf dem top floor. Das habe ich ja schon gesagt. Dann hüpfen wir mal nach oben. Die hopp, hopp. So, das ist 14. Da ist 16. Don't bother knocking, just kick the door in. Überraschung. So, dann schauen wir doch mal, was wir hier noch alles finden.
Probably not. Ja, wahrscheinlich der Briefkastenschlüssel. Ja, auch hier Eier oder so, ja. No good to me. Wahrscheinlich ist hier auch im Schlafzimmer, denke ich mal, wieder was Interessantes. Moment. Hm. Don't think this is any use to us. Hm. Sowas, sowas. Ah, jetzt wäre ein Schuh. Stimmt, zwei Stufe. Äh, ich habe das, glaube ich, ich glaube, ich habe das damals auch verpeilt gehabt. <lacht> ja, wenn du sagst. <lacht> äh, dass ich das. Ach, guck mal, hier haben wir auch noch blutige Sachen. Und halt die Mordwaffe. Na dann komm her. Bleibst du hier? Na komm runter. Du sollst runter. Hep. So, er hat sich eine Karre geholt. Dann schnappen wir uns auch mal unsere Karre. So, bleibst du mal stehen. Jupp, warum eigentlich nicht? Jetzt muss ich halt nur mal ein bisschen ran. Kommen. Ja, genau, baller den mal weg. Jawohl. Einen Reifen haben wir schon mal. Jawohl, ja. <lacht> Under arrest for the murder of Celine Henry. Put your hands in the air. So, was das? I ain't saying a goddamn thing. You did a grand job, lads. Phelps, that's quite a way to acquit yourself in your first outing as a homicide investigator. It seems the city has a new and vengeful guardian. Considering the evidence against your suspect and the thoroughness with which a report was compiled, I foresee a safe passage through the courts, and the DA agrees with me. Brutality on a scale such as this deserves retribution. The people and the press of this city demand it.
<lacht> ja, das war vielleicht noch ein bisschen hoch. Oh, hat aber noch gereicht, sehr gut. Okay, Jacob Henry wird in Ruhe trauern, während währenddessen seiner Zelle auf einen Besuch des Staatsanwalts wartet. Dann geht's weiter zum nächsten Fall. Galloway. Got it, Skipper. Yeah, I'll bring him. He's my partner, after all. What have we got? New case. White female dumped in plain sight in the grass at the end of Hill Street. Hacks are all over it. Captain's trying to fend them off. That sounds awfully similar. The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. Skipper wants you to have your newspaper face on, college boy. I think I know the place where they found the lady. It overlooks Sunset Boulevard. Let's go. Hm, na ja, dann mal los. Wie geben wir uns mal dorthin? Was auch immer uns dort erwarten mag. <lacht> Aber immer doch. So, dann fahren wir los. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. You did a decent job on the Henry case, Phelps. Not bad for your first time in bad. Thanks, Rusty. Don't go getting ahead of yourself. That's one clearance under your belt. Now it's a new day with a new dead lady that needs our attention. No assumptions until we see the evidence, right? Right. See, I knew you were a fast learner, Phelps. You might get along after all. Now, boys, boys, you know as much as I do. I'll be holding a press conference once the autopsy has been completed. I have two of my finest investigators on the case, fresh from bringing down the sword of justice on the crazed sex... Captain, aren't women. there similarities between this murder and the murder of Celine Henry? And of Elizabeth Short, for so that matter. You don't matter. believe there's a crazed sex killer at large boys, preying on women? Boys, be sensible. We have the greatest police force in all the world, with the greatest scientific investigators at our disposal. How can any killer continue to be done? Be advised. We keep the gas chamber at San Quentin primed for the sons of Cain who continue to believe they can take a life in the city of Angels. Yeah, right. Any new leads in the Dahlia case? Run along, boys, and let these officers get to work. We have God's work to do here, and it can't be delayed. What do we have, Captain? Another woman sacrificed. Speak to Carruthers. I want daily reports, gentlemen. Officer, please tell me what's going on. Hmm. Detective, I was first on scene. Dann schauen wir uns das mal an. But you can tell me what's going on. You find her, Gonzalez? Not me. Family out for a stroll. I was first reporting. 
Can you show me the body? It's under the pepper tree, this way. All these cars. It's got to be something big, right? Gut, gut. Dann äh, schauen wir doch mal. Can't be much help to you, Phelps. Na sowas, was haben wir denn hier? There she is. Wieder Fußspuren. The stopping angle in the Henry case. Was it reported in the press? Sure was. Every detail a copycat would want was there in the story. Hm. Das kann halt auch noch sein. Wieder eine Handtasche. Ah. Oh, we have a name. Can you run Deirdre Muller by R&I? Back in a second. Hm. Und halt noch ein bisschen Geld. The motive was robbery. Why not take the money? Gut, das dürfte das gewesen sein. Ja, dann schauen wir uns mal hier die arme Frau noch an. Hm. Ja, die ist wohl erwürgt worden. Da auch draufgetreten wieder. Hm. Das kann halt auch sein. What's this mark? A cut on the finger. Fourth finger, left hand. A wedding or engagement ring. Violently removed. Detectives, R&I says that Deidre Mahler of 130 North Bonnie Bray was reported missing this morning by her husband, Hugo Mahler. What'd I tell you? Just grab the husband, take him downtown and work him over. We can have this wrapped up by lunchtime. What about not making assumptions and going on the evidence? <lacht> Geht noch was zu essen. Gut, wir machen hier mal einen Schnitt. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Ich hoffe, ihr hattet Spaß. Seid dann beim nächsten Mal wieder mit dabei. Und bis dahin, macht's gut und ciao, ciao.